In this episode we will visit one of the most iconic landscape photography landmarks in the entire world. Before we go to that landmark, we will visit a few other places first. Southwest of Moab and Arches National Park, you will find some interesting locations, which are most definitely worth a visit. The first location on this list are the Texas Gulf Potash Ponds, which attracted me due to some satellite images I've seen from the area. The road down there is fairly long and you will pass by Corona Arch on your way down there, which you might want to visit. We missed it because I didn't know it was there. So much for preparation. You can't enter the Texas Gulf Potash Ponds, but you can drive around, park your car and go for a little climb in the mountains to get a better overlook. The ponds invite for some interesting abstract photography, and if the light is right, you'll get some beautiful colors there too. Remember a tail zoom to get close to the details. Not far from the Potash Ponds, you will find Dead Horse Point State Park, which is a nice little park with some easy to access grand views over Canyonlands National Park, where the Colorado River have eroded the landscape for millennia. We visited this location at a not so interesting time of the day in regard to the light, since I didn't plan to go here, but it sure was a fantastic location to visit. It was one of the most zen-like locations we visited on our entire trip. No wind, no sound, perfect temperature and absolutely grand. You do feel very, very small when you can just sit and watch millions of years back in time just in front of you. All the beautiful layers in the rocks has so much to tell about the age of the earth and how insignificant and short one human life is. A very humbling and thoughtful experience. Now if you have seen the interview with me on Photography TV, you know that I'm kind of working out how to make good pictures in daylight, and this was one such occasion. The last place in the Moab area I will mention is Mesa Arch. From the parking lot there is a very short path of around 500 meters, which is easy to walk in the dark since it's fully marked. This arch is to Canyonlands National Park what Delicate Arch is to Arches, but there's way easier access to Mesa Arch which also makes this a huge tourist magnet. Stories from more local photographers we heard at the location are absolutely horrifying. Mesa Arch is known for sunrises, since you year-round can capture the rising sun underneath the arch and the underside of the arch glows all red due to reflected light. This is a very unique phenomenon and obvious for landscape photography, but it's apparently also a tourist thing. Because of that, the location gets flooded with tourists during high season with all the problems that comes with that. Luckily we visited way out of season where the pressure on the location is way smaller and the light and location of the sunrise in my opinion is better. We did arrive to the parking lot an hour and 15 minutes before sunrise, but there were already two other photography couples there. 
Luckily we were the first ones at the arch and just before sunrise a lot of other photographers had already arrived. And here's a great tip. If you are the first photographer at a location, you're the one who dictates where the line of photographers will stand. You do have around half an hour to capture the rising sun and the best reflected light won't happen until the entire sun is above the horizon. I went for that panoramic view of the arch with the sunburst at the horizon, but just before sunrise where the underside of the arch had started glowing I managed to capture some long exposure cloud trails which I decided to use for the panorama. A few minutes later the sun rose and I could combine the sunburst with the cloud trails. At this location you would probably want to go fairly large since the line of photographers probably will stand rather close to the arch. Even with my 16mm I had to stitch several pictures together to get the entire arch within one picture. When you have got your shot, remember to explore the rest of the location. There are some great vantage points to explore and zooming into the canyon beneath can also generate some amazing abstracts. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this episode and found it informative. I would highly appreciate a like and a comment. And then I would like to know how do you feel about visiting these very touristy locations? There's a huge debate going on in the photography community that it's just a waste of time and everybody has shot this location and yada yada yada. So how do you feel about it? Write down below. In the next episode we will go to Saguaro National Park in Arizona.